Hello everybody and welcome, it's John Pace. Um, today we're gonna be uh, doing a brief video um, about whether or not uh, in-body image stabilization uh, is a good idea when mounting the camera on a tripod. Uh, the question has come up numerous times in the forums over the years with um, mostly, I think, landscape photographers uh, asking uh, whether um, they should use the uh, IBIS uh, along with the tripod, even though the common wisdom is that uh, you should turn off the uh, in-body image stabilization on most cameras. Um, granted, uh, I think a couple of lenses or maybe uh, a couple of camera bodies uh, can detect when the uh, camera is mounted on a tripod and turn the uh, in-body image stabilization off automatically, but uh, uh, the Sony cameras don't do that, and that's what we're dealing with today. So um, what we have is photographers who are doing landscape, uh, photography, uh, they're bringing a tripod, they're, uh, maybe they're, uh, they know that they're not supposed to extend the center column all the way to the top, it, it, makes, the, uh, uh, it makes the camera very unstable, okay. Um, they go ahead and they hang a, a backpack or some weights from the uh, center column to add stability to the tripod, uh, but they're still uh, encountering some uh, camera movement or camera shake um, from the windy conditions. So, um, we can't uh, um, emulate uh, the uh, windy conditions here in Saigon, and I'm not a landscape photographer anyway, but just out of uh, curiosity, I decided to go ahead and in my apartment set up the Sony a7 III with uh, the Zeiss 55 millimeter f1.8 lens uh, with the um, legs uh, at all folded, so in the best conditions, the uh, center column is not extended at all. Um, all the uh, legs are collapsed, so it's at its shortest position, so it should be at its most stable. And I did a, a close-up uh, of uh, an object in my room. And uh, while I was uh, filming uh, the first time, uh, I was tapping the uh, legs of the tripod gently. And the, uh, the object it happens to be this um, uh, 400 watt uh, fogger. It's, um, I use it for uh, special effects when I'm, uh, sometimes when I'm uh, shooting models, uh, if I need a little bit of atmosphere. Uh, and it's got a uh, bold white lettering on a black background, so it should be very easy to see if there's any uh, wobble or camera shake. Okay, so the first test we did with the in-body image stabilization off and I'm tapping the legs of the tripod very gently. And then uh, the second uh, time, we uh, turn the in-body image stabilization on, and I repeated the test, uh, again, uh, tapping the legs of the tripod very gently. Now, of course, this is uh, the farthest thing in the world from a scientific test. Uh, first of all, the tripod is one of the lightest available on the market, although many, many people uh, use tripods like the Mifoto. And, uh, I believe uh, Manfrotto also makes a tripod that's uh, very similar in weight and construction. Um, and uh, so I'm not sure uh, uh, many cameras, uh, all cameras have different uh, types of in-body image stabilization. Uh, the Micro Four Thirds cameras have different from the full frame. Uh, they're more effective. Uh, the lenses may play a part. Um, and also I didn't have a chance to test whether a uh, combination of uh, optical image stabilization and in-body stabilization would make a difference because uh, I don't have any uh, optically uh, stabilized uh, lenses in my uh, collection. So anyway, uh, that's a lot of talking. Let's go ahead and look at the clips and see if uh, we can learn anything uh, from the uh, brief test that I did today. Um, I hope you enjoy it. We'll see you in the next episode. For now, bye-bye.